Hey, good morning from Perristo, Costa Rica. So, hey, this video is gonna be a little bit different because I have a, uh, I just have my iPhone with me and I'm just doing that. I had no plans on making a video this week, but things have changed and, well, a monkey wrench has been thrown in our plans and I wanna tell you all about it. Uh, Nancy is not with me. I have uh, came down to Costa Rica. I wanna tell you all about that and uh, tell you what happened. I've had some health issues since being in Costa Rica and I uh, just wanna let all my friends know that uh, we're gonna have some videos coming out, but uh, right now I've gotta take an opportunity and just get my health back. So I'll uh, stay tuned, I'll let you know what's going on. In the meantime, look, enjoy this beautiful view behind me. Okay, here's what the situation is. Uh, on January the 4th, the day after my birthday, I woke up and uh, my plan was to uh, get up and come to Costa Rica. I was still in the United States. Well, I had something bothering me in my ear. It was in my left ear. It felt like um, it was blocked, like I had some wax or something in there. And on January the 4th, at uh, basically two o'clock that morning, uh, which would be the fifth, I was, my plan was is to get on a plane and come to Costa Rica. So I had something blocking in my ear and I went to uh, the store and I bought some drops to soften wax thinking, hey, I've got a blockage in my ear, maybe some wax buildup or something. And so I flushed it out and basically I got on a plane and came down to Costa Rica and after a couple days, I realized that there was not, it was not wax. Um, and I had gone almost completely deaf in my left ear. And I had some hearing loss in my right ear. Uh, but I think that was more just from my age and, you know, working in factories and things like that. So anyway, fortunately, the people that uh, I'm staying with here, uh, their family has just a group of, ear doctors and audiologists and I mean it's kind of amazing how it happened uh, they immediately started uh, taking a look at my ear and uh, decided that I have something called sudden deafness syndrome and uh, I'd never heard of it but uh, anyway so as I speak to you today I have severe hearing loss can't hear much but I'm on a treatment regimen so after that I decided we were gonna stay here a week and I was gonna go back to the United States. Well, um, the way they tell me is that the time is of essence. So I needed to get this treatment done right away. And so I made a decision. So if I go back to the United States, I gotta find a doctor. I gotta go through a lot of things just to get uh, treatment. Where if I stayed here in Costa Rica, I can get excellent health care and on a timely basis, I wouldn't have to wait any longer for a specialist or anything. So as we speak, it's like the, the 15th of January. I've been here since the 4th of January and I'm receiving treatment for my deafness in my ear. Um, I've had excellent uh, experiences with the healthcare here. Even with the language uh, uh, barrier, I've had excellent care and people have been very kind to me. Uh, the, the folks that I'm staying with here are an amazing couple and they have opened up, they have a little uh, apartment in their basement and they've opened that up to me and uh, they've been more than kind to me. So I can't, uh, I can't thank them enough. Uh, the thing that uh, is hard is that Nancy's back in the United States, I'm here in Costa Rica. So um, I have, in a few days, I have another appointment with an audiologist, have a hearing test done and with a ear doctor to see, you know, what my prognosis is for, you know, if I have long-term deafness or whatever. So this, I'm gonna, you know, I've been making, I didn't plan on making a video here, uh, cause I'm here mainly to help my son uh, set up house, but I had no intentions on making a video this time. Oh, we will in the future. But uh, so listen, if the audio's not too good and um, you know, things are not clear, I'm not editing this video to the level I normally do, just because of the fact I cannot hear very well. 
So um, anyway, enjoying Costa Rica. I'm not sick. I'm, I feel just fine other than the steroids that they have you on. Who are they mess with your stomach in addition to that? Um, you know, travel or stomach anyway. So other than that, I'm doing just fine. The weather is beautiful. It's about 72 degrees today and uh, it gets down in the 50s at night. So it's really, it's uh, really good. I uh, miss Nancy greatly. Uh, one of the reasons why I decided not to do videos here is because she's an integral part of, you know, what we do with Hanging with Herky. And uh, it's hard to video when you're not, you have ideas to bounce off other people. And we kind of play off each other in our videos. So it, it's gonna be, it's kind of difficult. Uh, but uh, I'm gonna throw this video out there just so, cause I know if we didn't make a video, people would wonder where I was at, but. So currently I am about an hour and a half outside of San Jose, Costa Rica in uh, a little area called Perristo. Um, behind me, you can see the volcano and some coffee growing regions. Um, the coffee is excellent and uh, the weather's beautiful. You know, if I have to be sick or have a problem, this is a great place to be. But as I was talking about, uh, I really miss uh, Nancy and Herky and uh, all my friends and family back home. Let's put a little bit delay on our grand adventure that we are gonna, we're gonna start. I don't know what treatment plant I'm gonna be on when the United, I go back to the United States. So um, my plan is, is uh, to go back to the United States after this, I start this second round of a treatment and um, seek some medical attention there. But because time was of the essence, I decided that I needed to stay here and stay on this treatment plan. In the meantime, I was able to help my son out a lot and uh, we were able to uh, get everything accomplished that we wanted to do. So, hey, uh, those of you that have um, sent me some emails and checked on to me, I, I just really appreciate your thoughts and your prayers and for everybody that's uh, been concerned about me. Uh, I'm doing well. I don't feel bad at all, uh, other than the fact that I can't hear a blasted thing. <laughs> uh, so uh, this is going to be something used to, that I have to get used to. Now, uh, I was reading online that there's a 45% chance that I will have a full recovery. So that's good. That's, that's a good prognosis, and uh, I'm going to hang my hat on that and rest. Hey, like I said, I hit, wasn't doing a video, but I've thrown in a few little things here. Um, at the end of this video, let me uh, show you some things about Costa Rica.
time and I've got a really special treat for you. So uh, the folks that I'm staying with here on their property, they have a rancho that they call it. It's kind of like a, what we call like a gazebo, but uh, Alfredo made this rancho on his property and it has uh, just a little area that they can come out into their woods and enjoy the evening. And one of the really cool things is they have a fireplace here. Um, and also he's currently making pizza. So uh, he's got the dough going here. Let me show you around a little bit and take a look at this pizza oven. I think you're gonna really like it. He uh, handmade this thing. restaurant in, in the past when we started to be um, Christian mm -hmm. Mara and I have um, a restaurant the name was Cafe de Mara ah. yeah and we make uh, we offer people coffee and uh, and after I teach to make a pizza it was very good for people I, it's going to be very good for me this evening, too. <laughs> I hope you enjoy our pizza. Getting a lesson from the master chef here making pizza. We're at the uh, Mara and Alfredo Pizzeria Ranchero <laughs> in Ferristo, Costa Rica. And I'm putting the final touches on my masterpiece that Alfredo's helped me with. It's very hot. All right, here we go. It's very hot. I'm going to get a <laughs> shot. At least I didn't dump it all into the oven. All right, we'll see how that tastes. <laughs> okay, my friends, that's about it. It's gotten late in the evening, and that ends our video for today. I, uh, Hope you enjoyed a little snapshot of what my life is here in Costa Rica for right now. Um, continue to remember me in your prayers uh, as far as my hearing goes, that I could get some oh, resolution and recover hearing again. But once again, uh, my guests, my hosts here in uh, Costa Rica have been very kind to me, and I appreciate that. Um, I'll try to give you some update as to well, what things are going on here and how 
if you know if I make some improvement, my plan is uh, to continue the treatment. Uh, but I certainly need to go back to the United States as soon as I can. So thanks. And thanks for watching. We'll see you again next Sunday.